Liberia is a country full of exciting opportunities and big dreams. They are doing amazing things, like building better roads and making groundbreaking technology. This story shows how determined Liberia is to shape its future and create a time of great success. With beautiful landscapes and strong people who never give up, this video takes you on an exciting journey where Liberia's big projects unfold, showing how they are changing and bringing a bright future with no limits. If you enjoy videos on this channel leave a like and a sub so others can see this. Eight, the Kinja Janet Brown Road. The construction of the Kinja Janet Brown Road, which will connect Kinja to Jenna Brown and neighboring villages in Liberia, has commenced. This road project includes the rehabilitation of certain sections. The road's completion will greatly improve access to essential services like healthcare and reduce the inconvenience caused by lengthy travel. The citizens of the four Marvel towns have long suffered from poor road conditions, which have created numerous challenges in accessing basic services. The county authority will closely oversee the entire road construction process, ensuring its successful implementation. 7. The Liberia Inland Storage Facility In a significant development, the construction of the Liberia Inland Storage Facility is set to commence soon. The project is a result of collaboration between Infraco Africa CPCS, Transcom, Liberia Global Logistics Services Group, and BNC Group Construction Company. Spanning an impressive area of 4,600 square meters, the facility will be equipped with a cutting-edge rooftop solar hybrid system, comprising solar photovoltaic panels, smart switches, and monitoring systems. Situated nearly 10 kilometers away from the Freeport of Monrovia, this facility aims to optimize energy usage while decreasing reliance on diesel and stabilizing carbon emissions. Furthermore, it is anticipated to serve as a model for similar facilities in the region, potentially leading to a significant reduction in carbon emissions. The storage facility will greatly benefit businesses by streamlining their supply chains, minimizing stockholding and damage, and ultimately lowering costs for end consumers. 6. The Liberia Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zone Project This project aims to facilitate the establishment of a thriving agri-hub in Buchanan, located in the Grand Bossa County of Liberia. It accomplishes this by providing the essential external infrastructure required to attract and secure private sector investors and developers. The overarching objective of the Liberian government in embarking on this venture is to drive private sector investments into a burgeoning industrial park, thereby stimulating agricultural transformation, generating employment opportunities, augmenting exports, and bridging the socio-economic disparity between urban and rural areas. To ensure the smooth implementation of this endeavor, the project offers technical assistance in the establishment of the Liberia Special Economic Zone Authority and lends support in developing the necessary skills and agricultural value chain capabilities. In collaboration with the Federal Development Bank, the goal of this collaboration was to conduct comprehensive project feasibility studies on the Agri-Hub in Buchanan, as well as three agricultural transformation centers situated in Bong, Nimba, and Cape Mount counties. The detailed reports resulting from these studies were finalized in 2019 and officially presented to stakeholders and the government in February 2021, marking a significant step forward in this transformative initiative. 5. The Liberia Energy Efficiency and Access Project The project as part of a larger collaborative effort is focused on improving Liberia's electricity access. It involves the construction of a 46.1-kilometer transmission line and a 208.80-kilometer distribution line in the area surrounding Roberts International Airport and Plybo Fish Town in River G County. This initiative is supported by the Norwegian government, the World Bank, and the European Union. In addition to infrastructure development, the project also includes capacity building and energy efficiency components. Its main objectives are to enhance electricity accessibility for the Liberian population, promote energy efficiency, and strengthen the institutional capacity of the electricity sector. By expanding the transmission and distribution network, improving accessibility, promoting energy efficiency, 
and providing training for skilled professionals, the project aims to uplift the energy landscape in Liberia. 4. The Roberts International Airport Highway President George Weir of Liberia officially commenced the expansion and rebuilding of the Roberts International Airport Highway, known as the Rear Highway. This 45-kilometer project, estimated at a cost of $95 million, aims to convert the existing two-lane road from Elwood to Rear into a substantial four-lane expressway. The Ria Highway serves as the primary transportation route for residents, goods, and services between six out of Liberia's 15 counties. President Webb revealed that initial funding for this venture was secured through negotiations involving the ECOWAS Bank and private capital. Under President Weir's administration, the project was initiated and successfully completed. Upon its completion, the rear road will undergo a remarkable transformation, becoming a cutting-edge four-lane highway equipped with essential features such as advanced lighting and comprehensive road safety facilities. 3. The Renewable Energy Project the Renewable Energy Project in Liberia aims to create a sustainable and cost-effective power source for electrification. The project involves the development of the run of Riverbed and Falls HPP, which will have a total capacity of 9.34 MW. Located along the Street John River in Nimba County, the power plant will be connected to the existing cross-border line between Liberia and Côte d'Ivoire through an 8-kilometer, 33kV evacuation line. This initiative will enhance the reliability of electricity supply, facilitate grid expansion to isolated areas, and encourage the connection of more households, schools, health centers, businesses, and industries to the national grid. 2. The two Monrovia Metropolitan Climate Resilience Projects to achieve climate resilience in the coastal areas of Monrovia, the two Monrovia Metropolitan Climate Resilience Projects require a shift from short-term measures to long-term integrated planning. This approach involves the active participation of the public, private sector, and communities across all levels of governance. By constructing a rock revetment, the project aims to shield West Point from storms and coastal erosion. The proposed project addresses the challenges faced in adapting to climate change in the coastal region of Monrovia. Approximately 10,500 residents of West Point will be protected and equipped with the necessary resources to enhance their climate resilience. This effort will prevent potential property losses amounting to $47 million, affecting both private and public properties. Furthermore, the project will facilitate fishing boat launches, benefiting the local fishing industry. Supported by the United Nations Development Programme and the Green Climate Fund, the Monrovia Metropolitan Climate Resilience Project has the overarching goal of safeguarding the lives, homes, and livelihoods of hundreds of families and a quarter of a million individuals residing in coastal areas. Additionally, it aims to protect vital infrastructure, including schools and fish landing beaches. 1. 1,000 Housing Units for Low Income Earners Project Liberia's National Housing Authority has entered into a Memorandum of Understanding with Pan-African Mortgage Financer Shelter Africa to construct 1,000 housing units for low-income earners. This collaboration, led by Shelter Africa CEO Andrew Chinfanda, aims to develop a total of 1,100 social housing units in five phases, with an estimated cost of $30 million. This initiative establishes a framework for a public-private partnership agreement outlining the responsibilities of the Liberian government and Shelter Africa. The government of Liberia, through the Liberia's National Housing Authority, will provide land, infrastructure, and a sovereign guarantee to all participating lenders. Meanwhile, Shelter Africa will offer financial solutions, advisory services, and research reports to support the project. The construction plan aligns with the Liberian government's National Housing Initiative, which seeks to construct between 50,000 to 80,000 housing units across the country's 15 counties. Each block in this project comprises 24 units and can accommodate up to 40 blocks. In wrapping up, Liberia shines a much-needed spotlight on the nation's incredible journey towards rebuilding its infrastructure and reviving its economy. Through unwavering determination, collaborative efforts, and innovative approaches, Liberia has admirably tackled the obstacles of post-conflict reconstruction, 
forming alliances with global organizations and embracing sustainable methods to foster inclusive progress. The narratives of resilient communities, skilled workforce, and forward-thinking leaders truly underscore the vast potential of Liberia's construction sector and its profound influence on the lives of its people. As Liberia pushes forward, these construction endeavors stand as a powerful testament to the remarkable combination of perseverance and unity, paving the way for a brighter future for the nation and its citizens. If you enjoyed this video leave a like and a sub and we'll see you in the next one.